Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDRM 1019. Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, Rise of the Pirate God. Okay, so, Morgan's feeling better, and we're here in this, uh, in the Den of Thieves. Just, uh, kind of looking around at all this cool stuff here. Ooh, scrolls, parchments, and maps. Winslow would be so happy. Hmm. Peg legs? How did he manage to steal all of these without the wearers noticing? Wow! You stole this? Actually, that was already there when I got here. Hmm. Fair enough. Hmm. What's the deal with this thing? Ah, that's an old one, friend. They say that toe juice encrusted sock was once worn by LeChuck himself. The thief who stole it claimed he slipped it right off the zombie pirate's oozing undead foot without being noticed. Funny how he showed up here in the afterlife, still clutching the sock in his fist. Wow. You mind if I, uh, steal it? Actually, I'd prefer you just take that one. It's really starting to stink up the place. I hate to admit it, but that might come in handy. Okay, um... I'm probably gonna have to steal something from this guy, I just don't know what. Excuse me. What is it, friend? So, what are all these things? What are all these things? Those are the things I've stolen from the poor, unsuspecting pirates passing through. Some real gems there, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. What was that you said? Um, I didn't say anything. Are you sure? I thought you might have said there was something behind me. There's a three-headed monkey? There is. Well, I'd better turn around and look at it. Uh. Well, I don't see anything over here. Can I take... Oop. Are you sure you meant behind? No. Secrets aren't meant to be stolen. <sighs> See, he's just asking me to... Yoink. Nope, Maybe cool. I, try... I hate to be a bad host, but I'm afraid you have got to be moving on. Oh. Okay, then. I can't have this place full of thieves all the time, or people will stop coming in, you know what I mean? Well, thank you for being so accommodating. Speak nothing of it, friend. Feel free to come back at a later time. Hmm. I don't know. That was awfully slick. Something doesn't sit right with me. Wait a minute. Some of my stuff is gone. That two-bit thief robbed me. Pretty smoothly, too. Yeah, I figured. All right. He's going to take some finagling. We'll come back to him. All right. I want to figure out this dog because... Oh, you know what? Actually, I think I'm going in the wrong area to get... I, I mean, the dog's over here, but I don't think I can get him yet. I think I need to go to the treasure hunt area first. Whoa, it's a treasure hunter's dream in here. Hey, matey, help yourself. If there was ever a treasure in life you were meant to have, just do some digging and she'll be yours. Hmm. That sounds great. I just need a shovel. Hmm. This looks as good a spot as any. Oh, cool. I got a shovel. Oh. Yikes. Flying sand, please. Ah, oh boy. Mini pyrite parrots. Uh, so this is what happened to my cursed pyrite parrot of Petaluma after Desinja obliterated it. Hmm. Might need those. Greetings, fellow dead guy. I'm Guyver Streepwood. Might uh, I know who you are. You do? Wow. I knew I was getting pretty famous, but who knew my legend extended into the afterlife? Legend schmidgen. We bumped into each other back on Spoon Isle. Oh, yeah, you were one of the guys trying to beat up LeChuck. How'd that work out for you? You tell me, smart guy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um. I've been told by a marginally reliable source that LeChuck may have buried something important around here. LeChuck? Ah, he should bury himself if he knows what's good for him. So you don't know anything about it? No, but there are a lot of X's here. Hard to tell what's buried where. 
Uh. Sure are a lot of X's around here. Well now, aren't we the observant spirit? Were you some sort of scout in your former life? Or were your age dulled senses restored to the fullness of youth after you passed away? Okay. I'm a mighty pirate. Of course you are. We're all mighty pirates down here, schmuck. And this is the <laughs> treasure hunter's paradise, with never-ending caches of pirate booty found under each and every X, as far as the eye can see. Wow. Uh... So why aren't you digging more? You why aren't you digging up more treasure? Yeah, I'm taking a break. Counting up what I have so far. Uh, show me how it works. Can you show me how the treasure hunt works? Sure, why not? A pirate can never have too much treasure. Hmm. Nice treasure pile. Surprisingly light. Hmm. I have a jeweled anchor now. Okay. Nice treasure pile. I have a feeling if I just keep. Yeah, he'll keep burying and digging in the same spot. I'll just keep releasing these pirate parrots. Okay. I guess this is the only treasure I'm gonna get. Stupid cursed whispery parrot. So they're over on the sign. Hey, where are you going? Come back. Mm. I need something to cap capture those Treasure. guys. All you can dig. That's nice. Splice the main brace. Another bag of gold. I tell you, I'll never get tired of this. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna need those pirate parrots for something. I thought for sure that there was a bone around here. Oh no! Don't. Great, more tiny parrots. I guess since he got atomized into a million <coughs> bits, there are going to be a lot of these guys. How goes the treasure hunt? Fantastic! Uh, you haven't seen a lost dog, have you? You haven't lost a dog, have you? A dog? What would a pirate need with a dog? Silly creatures always sliding back and forth on the poop deck, barking while you try to sneak up on your enemy. Who needs them? Parrot. That's a good pet for a pirate. Oh, well, I thought you might be using him to find buried treasure. Nah, oh, finding treasure is easy here. Just dig and get rich. Uh, let's see. How'd you wind up with a massive hole? So, uh, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you wind up with that massive hole in your gut? Mind? Why should I mind reliving the horrifying moment of my demise? Um. That was rhetorical. Oh. As you recall, when me and the boys heard that the infamous demon pirate LeChuck had been turned into a human, we thought we could make our reps by giving him a good pirate thrashing. I remember. Even as a human, LeChuck was too much for you guys. Aye, but I got in a good left hook or two before he got away. So? So, after Captain McGillicutty's unfortunate demise, we decided to start up our own little swashbuckling crew on Spoon Island. Nice place. Lots of fish. What does this all have to do with the hole? I'm getting to it. Sorry. So anyway, we were right in the middle of procuring a suitable ship for pirating, when suddenly, bam, my box is cured. I did that. Well, goody for you. Unfortunately, I didn't have long to enjoy my clean bill of health before the evil demon LeChuck sailed up, stuck one of those newfangled Hungarian cannons in me stomach, and pulled the trigger. Guess he remembered that left hook. You know, you could have just said, LeChuck shot me with a cannon. What's wrong with a little colorful narrative? Hmm. Okay. Um. I've been talking to Galeb. I've been talking to this Galeb guy at the center of the crossroads. Funny looking fella? Yeah. That's odd. He told me his name was Squinky. I think he lies a lot. A lot of people lie a lot. The trick is figuring out when they're telling the truth. How do you do that? If I knew that, I might not be hanging out in a field full of X's with a hole where me liver, lungs, and kidneys used to be. All right, smart guy. Jeepers. Let's it's go. Been, um, interesting catching up, but I've got five or six impossible things to do, and I don't have time to listen to you, Kvetch. 
Fine. More treasure for me. Okay, so I'm pretty sure actually the solution to one of these puzzles was staring me right in the Don't face. Anyway, I can catch these parrots right now. Ignoring Maybe the pirate later. parrots, I bet you. Murray? Ooh. <laughs> Thank goodness. Not that I'm scared of Murray. Murray's a punk. You hear that, Murray? You're a punk. Ah! <laughs> You're still a punk. Hey, a bone. That'll come in handy. Okay. So, now that that's done... Let's take the boat back to the crossroads. Or to the gateway, rather. <coughs> what the heck? Stupid planks. Alright, here we go. Here, doggy. Got a bone for you. You look like, uh, Franklin. Hey, boy. You look hungry. Want a bone? Here you go, boy. Oh, poor thing. You should probably come with me. <laughs> okay. Well, we got ourselves a dog. Let's... It's probably Caleb's dog. Or Caleb's dog. Let's go give him back to him. Okay. To the crossroads. Uh, let's see. Hey, fool. This your dog? That putrid smell is so familiar. Yuck. What? Oh, that's LeChuck's sock. I guess it is pretty rotten. Did I give him the... Sorry. I... What the freak? Where is this? Oh, it's right here. So... Are you missing a dog? There. I found one who looks lost. Ah, filthy creatures. They make me all itchy. Hmm. Well, I guess. Hello. What's on your mind, Deepwood? I thought I heard him say something about the dog. Um. Say, so you know. So you say you know a lot about spells, eh? Fancy myself a bit of a spell connoisseur. Big ones, small ones, uppers, downers, reversals, hexes, jinxes, you name it. Really? Huh. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. I found a lonely dog in another part of the crossroads. Is he yours? Dog? I don't remember ever owning a dog. What the heck? I could have sworn you told me you liked you had a dog. I found a dog? Huh. Okay, I, I guess I'll just take this dog and leave then. Talk to you later. Sure, why not? Well, I'll, I'll take him to the treasure grounds. I'm sure he'll be really happy there. Alright, here you go, dog. Dig to your heart's content. Go ahead, little guy. Find LeChuck's hidden treasure chest. Hmm. Maybe he doesn't know what he's looking for. Oh, right. No. <sighs> Duh. There you go, boy. Get a big whiff of this. I think he's got the scent. Okay. Go get it. Okay, boy. Dig me up a vile-looking treasure chest. <laughs> Where are you going? Bad dead dog. What? <sighs> really? Are you serious? Well, okay. So much for that. Uh, me and brilliant ideas. Um, what would I possibly do with this jeweled anchor? An anchor. I'm not gonna let it hold me down. Hmm. Welcome back, friend. So, dead guy, you robbed me. Why? Excuse me. What is it, friend? Um, what happened to your hands? What happened to your hands? 
LeChuck happened to them. I guess he still held a grudge from when we stole the summoning turtle from him when he was human. He came back and slaughtered us all. Hmm, okay. So you robbed hey, me. The last time I was in here, you robbed me. I, of course I did. And you robbed me as well, if I remember correctly. Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, you got me. <laughs> What's a few stolen items amongst thieves, eh? <laughs> Good times. Good times. Hmm. Doesn't having no hands get in the way of your thievery? Not if you're good. I can lift a wallet with my teeth, crack a safe with my toes, and loot an entire treasure hold using just my, uh, cheeks. Ew. Hmm. You steal everything you here? steal everything in here? Most of it, friend. Uh, huh. Well, um... So, what kind of thievery skills do you have? The usual, friend. Pickpocketing, lockpicking, safe cracking, and creating artificial buying pressure for a generally low trading volume issuer in the over the counter securities market. Yeah, me too. Hmm, okay. Well, keep up the good work. Oh, I am, friend. <coughs> okay. Let's go for now, I guess. You know, I think. Paper. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. I think there was something at the gateway. Ah, yep, so I wasn't paying particularly close attention to it, but um, the ferryman's tip jar is still here, and no ferryman in sight. So let's just appropriate hey, some cash. Left his tip jar. I'll just hold on to it for safekeeping. Okay, now I got some money for a picture. So let's start there. Oh, the dog's here. Franklin, there you are. You're supposed to be finding LeChuck's hidden treasure for me. What are you doing here? Oh, such a cute little dog. Is he yours? Um, no. <laughs> what are you hiding, Caleb? More than meets the eye. Oh, oh he's nothing. got it. Here, I'll talk. What? Why, I never. <laughs> mm, but you do have the treasure. So I'll ask you, you'll say no, and around we'll go. It's hard to say. Hmm. All right, so Franklin's Excuse pointing to him. I have a few questions for you. What's on your mind, deep wood? Uh, he was finding LeChuck's spell, but he came here. Let Franklin get LeChuck's scent so he could find the treasure, but he came here instead. Hmm, curious. Maybe I am LeChuck. Are you? Nope. Do you have the treasure? Do you have LeChuck's treasure? Yes. Just as I thought. No. But wait, what? But Franklin agrees. You're supposed to say no. Then there's no doubt. But that's your thing. Doubt. Puzzling. Well, give it to me. <laughs> uh, like, do you have the photo? I still have the spirit photo. You got any money yet? Actually, I do. Um, whoop. Yeah, I didn't want to ask you about that. Um, talk to you later. Talk to you later. Sure, why not? Yes, I have money. Give me the photo. I'd like to buy that spirit photo, please. I think my wife will get a kick out of it once I figure out how to get back to her. How much is it? That should cover it. Enjoy the memories. Okay, I've got a spirit photo. So, seriously, like... Oh, what's on your mind, deep wood? Seriously, give me the treasure. Or the... the <laughs> Where were you the last time you saw the chuck? Right over there. Just a few steps over there. Not right here. Sigh. Um, when? When's the last time you saw the Chuck? It's hard to say. My memory is foggy about this LeChuck. Uh, come on. Like he was just knocked right out of my head. But that could have never happened. Uh, okay. Hmm. I let Franklin get LeChuck's scent so he could find the treasure, but he came here instead. Hmm. Curious. Maybe I am LeChuck. Are you? Nope. Okay. Um, so let's see. Thinking this out. Uh, hmm. You know what? Let's get a simple confirmation Talk here. To you later. Sure, why not? 
have a whiff of this thing, Fibby McFartrick Nugent. That's not my ne- Hey! That smells like him! Uh huh. Chuck's treasure. Way to go, Franklin, you salty dog. Now look, you've sullied the air over there. That's what I smelled right before taking a thump to the head all those years ago. That is one ugly chest. Oh man, it's locked. And I left my hook on my other body. Now how am I going to get it open? Hmm. All right, well. The only person who's probably really good with chests like that is a master thief. Welcome back, friend. All right. Need your assistance with something, pal. Do you think you can unlock this completely non-valuable treasure chest for me? There's a worthless slip of paper inside that I really need. Um, I'll let you keep the chest in exchange. Sure, friend. In fact, I already unlocked the chest while you were talking. But I'm afraid it's empty. What? See for yourself. Hmm. Hey, what was that? Yeah. What what, I'm not friend? buying it. You just kicked my spell into that pile. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Huh. We'll see about that. Okay, you know what? I'm not playing this game with you. Hey, Franklin. Go get it, boy. Okay, boy. Do your thing. Oh, wait a minute. I was hey, supposed to... you bring a dog in here? Because that will get you banned for life in here, Fred. Right. Um... Hey, buddy, so... Excuse me. What is it, friend? Uh, look behind you. Would you mind, uh, looking behind you again? There's something behind me, you say? Hmm. Better have a look. Okay. Why, I don't see anything over here. Now you do it. Okay, boy. Do your thing. Are you sure you meant behind me? Uh huh. Well, um. Maybe if I try squinting. Swipe. Time to go, friend. Oh, right. <laughs> Till next time, friend. Yep. Hmm. Let's go back to treasure hunt. Oh, hey, there's Franklin. There you are. Okay, give me the spell. Oh no, what have you done with the spell? Did you bury it here with all the treasure somewhere? Bad, Franklin. All right, you dug the, you buried the spell, go get it. Okay, boy, do your thing. Back in the code for you, you little spell thief. It's the spell that Chuck used hmm. to escape back into the living world. The physical and spiritual realms coexist as do night and day. To journey from one to the other, a pirate must know his way. Search around you and within you to find these things, and at the center of the crossroads, present them in a ring. The journey is confusing. Something must guide your way. And you must have an anchor to ensure that you will stay. What gives you courage to face the dangers to come? And a sacrifice in your name that cannot be undone. Okay, so we've got one of the pieces to the spell. We have an anchor. I'm guessing that courage might be grog, as in liquid courage, you know, lowering inhibitions. Uh, journey's confusing. Something must guide your way. And a sacrifice in your name that cannot be undone. I think that means the shred of life. Or part of it might be the spirit a photo. photo. Of my spirit. They say the ethereal camera of the afterlife subtracts ten pounds. Hmm. Whoops. It's the spell that Chuck used to escape back into the living world. Something must guide your way. Courage and a sacrifice. Hmm. Well, 
Let's go back to the crossroads. Hey, Caleb? Hello? Huh. Looks like he wandered off. Maybe he'll turn up later. Okay, so the anchor needs to go here. Anchors away. Check. All right, the photo. Nah. Nope. I'm wrong. How about the grog? One bottle of liquid courage. Check. Yep, I was right. Okay, so that's two pieces. So it's the spell that Chuck used to escape back into the living world. So we got an anchor and we got courage. The only thing we're miss we're missing two things. We need a guide and a sacrifice. And actually, the sacrifice I think is this. I'm not supposed to sacrifice myself. I think someone else needs to make a sacrifice for me. Hmm. Ah, that would be Morgan. Uh, let's go talk to Morgan. At least I think it is. Let's see if, uh, let's see if there's any new bits to chat about with Morgan. Hey, Mo. Hey, you. What's up? Uh, so I found a spell. I found a spell that will let me return to the land of the living. Really? That's great! How do we use it? First, I need to gather a bunch of ingredients, but I'm having some trouble figuring out what they're supposed to be. Maybe you can help. Maybe. What are the items? A guide. The journey is confusing. Something must guide your way. Sounds like you need something to point you in the right direction. Well, obviously, the only thing I have is this dog. Maybe that'll work. And a sacrifice. This spell requires a sacrifice made to me. That sounds pretty complicated. Maybe you should focus on the other ingredients first. Yeah, good idea. Gee, thanks. All right. How's the sword fighting going? The sword fighting get going, Mo. You know, it's not bad. I've already defeated three total posers and one half decent fencer. It's not quite the same thrill I got from being a hired mercenary, but it'll do for now. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be here. Uh, Good luck with the sword fighting gig. I'll be back. Well, let's go. Okay, let's go back to the center again. Am I right about this dog? Something to find your way. Check. <laughs> Sit. Stay. Good dog. Okay, I guess I am. All I need is a sacrifice in my name. Where the heck am I supposed to find that? Hmm. And I definitely can't use this, and I can't use this, right? Nope. Hmm. Sacrifice in my name. Hmm. You know what? She wasn't really that helpful when I asked her. She said, focus on the other three. Maybe I should tell her I found the other three. Hey, you. What's up? So I still need some kind of sacrifice. Hey, Mo. I still need one more thing for the crossroads spell. Some kind of sacrifice. I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I think I have an idea. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, where is this sacrifice? I, I don't see anything. Right here. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that... Is that a good idea? What? No, no, this is just my reputation. I can easily build that back up again. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Are you sure? <laughs> right. <coughs> Thank you. 
Well, don't just stand there. Get on with the spell. Of course, the spell. Wait, I don't know what else I'm... Oh, I guess it worked. Well, I guess this is it. Seems safe enough. Ladies first. Hey! Huh, that's weird. I can go through no problem. Oh, heck no! I am not getting stuck in this afterlife. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know, you just go on through and take care of your business. I'll figure it out. Okay. Wish me luck. Ah, ah. Hmm. Why won't this thing open? Elaine, get over here and help me. I've spent months getting those mangy voodoo cursed monkeys into place so I could conjure up the entrance to the crossroads. I won't be thwarted now. Oh, come on. I broke your spirit, not your back. Get over here and push. You know, you didn't have to actually kill him. And why not? Do you know the number of times that bony buccaneer has killed me? Look. I let you catch me, and I played along with your stupid nice guy act because I thought that it would get Guybrush to realize that the voodoo Do lady was- Do not mention that woman in my presence. That cursed voodoo witch will control my fate no more. Now that I have La Esponja Grande, I can use it to suck pure, unlimited voodoo energy directly from the source. I will become the demon pirate god, and you will be my goddess. And this time, there will be no guy brush threepwood to spoil our wedding plans. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Mm. Yes, that's it. Welp. I think I made a boo boo. to the unlimited voodoo power of the crossroads themselves. This is my moment of ultimate triumph. So, ghost of Guybrush Threepwood, would you like to RSVP for the wedding now or later? Uh, well, this uh, seems... I don't know, I don't have words for this, but it seems like an interesting place to stop. I'm sure there's a lot more to do. Let's catch up with Guybrush and how uh, he's going to get away from LeChuck later. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And don't forget to follow twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. And I will see you guys for more Tales of Monkey Island next week. Take care. Bye-bye.